You stress the importance of making executive communication personal, but often leaders are dealing with a corporate message. It's about the company and not so much about the leader themselves. So how do you differentiate? Well, the corporate message obviously is important to uh, operate the company, but the corporate message is not the same as the leadership message. So communicating the corporate message about what you need to do, how you need to do it, um, can be done in a number of different ways. You could send out an email, you could uh, put it on a PowerPoint slide and go through you know, 60 of them and so everybody understands what's going on. But if you really uh, want to, if you really want to deliver that message, let's just say it's about something that we're going to do or uh, some action that we're going to take, if you want to deliver that message in a way that people are engaged with it, then you're going to have to make it personal. You're go people are going to have to know your personal uh, motivation uh, in that change. They're going to have to know your view of it, uh, why it is that you support it. Uh, and you know, Fraser, it doesn't even matter if you disagree with it slightly because uh, I often get asked, gee, there's a corporate message here I really don't agree with, but I have to deliver it. Uh, my response to that is, look, uh, it's, it's possible for you to say, I believe in what this company is doing. Uh, the value of what we're doing is so important to me that every little decision we make and every direction that we go is not at stake. Uh, in a way, it's like any good relationship, that you're never going to have 100% of agreement of every decision, but you believe in the overall relationship and what you're trying to do. And when you do that, you can support and even advocate those things that you don't agree with very strongly because you believe in the overall goal. It's almost as though you're, I mean, the, the grossest example would be the ways in which we, we may not agree with who we elect president and we may not agree with what his or her policies might be every single one of them but we believe in the republic we believe in our way of life we believe in the power of elections and we believe in the power of our democracy and our republic so we're going to support that that those decisions in the context of that republic uh, corporate executives no different. If he believes in what they're doing, then every decision is not, not going to be up for grabs. They, they're going to be able to personally and authentically support it, even though they might not agree with that particular result.